Yo, let me set the stage for you. You've been an avid gamer for a while now, but one day your hands started feeling weird. Your thumb, index, and middle finger started getting a bit numb. Shaking out your hands doesn't work anymore, and every once in a while, they actually get a little painful too. You bought yourself a wrist rest to help with the pain, but that didn't seem to do anything. So you got so frustrated that you went on YouTube to search for answers, and you found yourself watching my video about carpal tunnel. You check all the boxes, and you're convinced that this is your problem. So you change your setup to make sure you aren't making anything worse, but you want to do more. You want to know some stretches and exercises and maybe some other stuff that you can do to make it better and, most importantly, prevent it from coming back. Well, that's pretty convenient because that's exactly what you're gonna learn in this video. My name is Franco and I work as a physical therapy tech in the army, but I have a confession to make. Physical therapy isn't typically who deals with carpal tunnel. Occupational therapy are the hands, wrist, and forearm experts. So for this video, I reached out to a good friend of mine who works in occupational therapy in the army as well. And I asked him for some of his favorite stretches and exercises for carpal tunnel. But before we get into that though, it's important to note that the best thing that you can do to treat and prevent Prevent carpal tunnel is change your setup. If your keyboard, mouse, and wrist rest are set up in a way that they are the cause of your carpal tunnel, then you're essentially trying to take water out of a sinking boat while the hole is still there. If you have any questions about improving your setup, then drop a comment down below or head over to Twitch where I stream three days a week. There are a lot of stretches that you can do for your wrist and hands in general, and I have a video all about that. Hopefully you've already seen it. But today I'm gonna show you two that specifically help with carpal tunnel. The problem with this stretch is that it's best done by a second person. But I understand, not everybody has a second person to help them out, so I'll show you a method of doing it to yourself as well. Just know that it's better when someone else does it. And I feel like everything I just said probably sounds really weird and bad out of context. This is called a palm stretch, and it starts with someone gently putting your wrist into extension. Once you're here, the person helping you out will take their thumbs and push on the base of your palm from the center out to the edges. If you've got someone helping you, that means that you have a free hand, and I honestly can't think of a better use for that hand than putting it on your mouse and subscribe to this channel. It actually, no joke, makes the stretch feel even better. If you're doing this by yourself, you're gonna have to brace one side of your hand against the desk or at the corner of a wall, then perform the spreading motion with your other hand. I'm gonna say this right now, this method isn't ideal and it won't be as good as having someone else helping you out, but lonely times call for lonely measures. The second stretch doesn't require any extra assistance and it's actually really easy to do. It's called a prayer stretch and it's performed by bringing both of your hands together as if you were praying and moving your hands down while keeping your palms connected. If your hands begin to come apart, it may seem like you're going further and getting more of a stretch, but you're not, so don't do that. So you know some stretches now, but maybe you're wondering how long or how often, and I could give you the textbook answer of two to four sets, 30 to 60 seconds, but what I actually tell my patients is do it for as long as you think you need to. If you're suffering from carpal tunnel, these stretches may feel really good, and you wanna hold it a little bit longer than 60 seconds, and that's totally fine. They might even be a bit painful, but that's kind of the pain where it hurts, but in a good way. But if they hurt, and it's not in a good way, it's in a, oh God, please stop, this is terrible, then please stop. Ease yourself into it. They're not going to help if you're just stretching so hard or so long that you're injuring yourself even further. Listen to your body and learn the difference between good and bad pain. There is such a thing. And that's it. That's the whole video. Peace. Zach, get in. Why are you leaving? I'm right Bye. here. Ha 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 ha!